Hey, what's up out there, everybody? It's Gary back with another Metalwork Monday. I really appreciate all the, uh, the comments and suggestions and everything on the video so far. I've got another project uh, uh, for tonight, so I hope you guys uh, enjoy it. Uh, keep up the comments and the good suggestions and ideas. I'll definitely be taking those into consideration. Just some, as you can see there, uh, some uh, great comments from Cigar Captain. I guess he used to be a machinist. He's been a long time subscriber and commenter on, on all, all, a lot of the videos. Uh, Terry WTBM123 had a great suggestion on uh, chuck issues with the drill chuck. Uh, DJ Devin3, uh, Cobra Fanatic22, uh, all these guys, uh, just a few more. Wild Eyed Northern Boy has had some good comments. Uh, Jeff from Photo Finish, uh, SYF, Greg Porter, Cecil, uh, a lot of great guys with a lot of great comments out there. And also, let me know what you think about the format of the videos. I'm trying to you know, talk less and, and, you know, show more action shots and, hey, um, how about doing what you just said and talk less and actually do something, show these guys some work and quit talking. So get to Okay. Him. Well, you heard him. He said, uh, talk less and, uh, get to work. So let's get to it. All right. So here's the stuff we're going to use for our project, uh, for this week. Uh, if you pan over there, uh, you remember this guy, we did some, um, paint work on it, you know, painted the knobs and so forth. Uh, on that and uh, we got four of those um, and so we want to be able to, to build some fixturing and stands to uh, allow for an infinitely adjustable uh, configuration to build square or rectangular frames that are um, you know could be of any size. Uh, so we got these cheap uh, Harbor Freight little caster uh, tripods that have an indented center, which hopefully is going to lower the center of gravity and make them a little bit more stable. Um, we've got some one and a quarter inch bolts, three inches long, um, that we're going to use to, to do the fine adjustment on the height. And then uh, some galvanized tubing, I think it's two and a half inch in, in diameter, fence post uh, stuff left over from some work we did uh, on the fence post a couple of years back. So we're going to cut that up and, and use that. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, these bolts are going to weld to the plate like that and then the nut will go down in the top of the tube um, so and, and then these plates will bolt underneath uh, here and uh, we'll get those bolted in so that's that's what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and get it all uh, going here and uh, stick around So uh, we got all of our parts cut, prepped. Um, you saw me uh, prepping these here. Um, really important to, if you're gonna weld galvanize, to do a few things. One, grind as much of the, the galvanizing coating off as you can, uh, inside and out. And then also any bolts that have uh, the zinc coating on them, uh, get as much of that off there as you can. And uh, the biggest thing is wear a respirator, have open ventilation, and uh, don't, don't hang around in there while it's being welded. But it's really recommended not to do it. It can make you pretty sick. So uh, we're going to make it quick, have our proper safety stuff on, and uh, make the best of it.
All right, well, as you can see, we got it all finished up here. Um, and this is about as small, small as we can make it without, uh, with, with this size, uh, you know, you kind of just run into button into everything here. Not enough room really, uh, even for this. All right, so now we got it all clamped in there, and uh, you know, and then uh, if we were going to build a table out of this, we could, you know, put the legs on, and um, all right, and then just get it all welded up, let it uh, cool down and uh, cool off on its own, just at normal temperature, and then uh, hopefully. It'll keep this, uh, you know, these kind of fixtures or these kind of uh, frames and all from warping if you just, if you don't have any kind of jig to put them in. Obviously, this is about as small as you can make it because you run into interference there, but clearly you can make it as big as, you know, as big as the room if you wanted to. So, uh, yeah, that's it. All right. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate you watching.